Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to solve the first question from CBSC Class 10, 2023-24, Sample Question Paper Set 2 for Mathematics Standard with Subject Code 041, Section A. Now, this question is from Polynomials Chapter. A quadratic polynomial, the sum of whose zeros is 0 and 1 0 is 4 is. So in this question, we have to find out the equation of the quadratic polynomial and the sum of the zeros is given as 0 and 1 of the 0 or 1 of the root is given as 4. So let me write the general form of quadratic polynomial first. So equation of quadratic polynomial is x square minus sum of zeros times x plus product of zeros. Now in the question, the sum of zeros is given as 0. And since it is a quadratic polynomial, we have two zeros or two roots as alpha and beta. So let me write the sum of zeros here. So sum of zeros is given as alpha plus beta, where alpha and beta are zeros of the given polynomial. And sum of the zeros is equal to zero as given in the question. And one of the zero is four. So let us assume that alpha is given as four. So four plus beta is equal to 0. So we can find out the value of beta now by sending 4 on the other side of equal to sign. So we get beta is equal to negative 4. So we have alpha is equal to plus 4 and beta is equal to negative 4. Now once we have got this, we can easily find the product of the zeros. So let me write the equation of product of zeros. So product of zeros is given as alpha times beta. So the value of alpha was given as 4 and we got the value of beta as negative 4. So 4 times negative 4 will give us negative 16. So now we have the sum of zeros as 0 and we have got the product of zeros as negative 16. So we have to simply substitute sum of zeros and product of zeros in this equation of quadratic polynomial. So let me write here. So here we are going to write x square as it is minus sum of zeros was given as 0. So 0 times x and product of zeros we got it as negative 16. Again simplifying this we get x square and 0 times x is 0. So only negative 16 remains. So this is the equation of the quadratic polynomial and it is going to be option A. So A is our answer. I hope you have understood all the steps and like the video. If you know any other way of solving this example, do comment below. And if you are liking my videos, like, share and subscribe to my channel. And thank you for watching.